This screencast covers some material from Module 4, Lesson 23, where we compare the size of the product with the size of the factors. This is also known as scaling. It's very similar to the previous lesson, but we go into a little bit more depth. The key thing to remember with this in the previous lesson is it's all about a number's relationship to the number 1. Well, let me explain that a little bit. If I have a number that, if I multiply a number by another factor that's greater than one, such as this one, I'm going to end up with a factor, uh, or a product rather, that's greater than the original factor. If I multiply a number, or a factor, say this, three and four tenths, by a factor that is less than one, I'm going to end up with a smaller product than the original factor. And if the number is multiplied by one, the, the product is going to be equal to the original factor. Let's do some examples of this and perhaps we can clarify further. So if I look at the first expression, I have three and four tenths times something equals three and four tenths. Well, I have to choose between one of these three numbers. And the answer would be 1. If I multiply anything times 1, I end up with a product that is equal to in value. Let's go on <clears throat> to the next one here. Now, I have something times 21 hundredths is greater than 21 hundredths. Well, in order to make that true, I have to choose the, uh, the other factor, the factor here that's greater than 1. So we'll put 1 and 21 thousandths in that blank. And finally, I have 3 and 4 hundredths times something is less than 8 and 4 hundredths. And uh, this time we'll have to choose the second factor that's less than 1, and that would be 989 thousandths. Let's do uh, look at this a few other ways. Okay, we have to sort the expressions now. So, let's read the instructions. Sort the following expressions by rewriting them in the table. The product is less than the box number. The product is greater than the box number. Let's work through them one by one. All right, we have 13 and 89 hundredths times 1 and 4 thousandths. Since this factor outside the box is greater than 1, our product will be greater than the box number. So we'll put this first one, 13 and 89 hundredths, times 1 and 4 thousandths in the box on the right. Going down to the next one, I have 3 tenths times 69 thousandths. 69 thousandths is less than 1. So the product must be less than 3 tenths. So we'll write 0 and 3 tenths times 0 and 69 hundredths. Moving along, 602 is in the box. We're multiplying it by 489 thousandths. Since this is less than 1, we are going to put it in the left-hand box. So we'll write 602 times 0 and 489 thousandths in the box because the product will be less than the box number. Continuing, 72 hundredths times 1 and 24 hundredths. Well, this factor is greater than 1. Therefore, we're going to place this in the right-hand box. So I have 72 hundredths times 1 and 24 hundredths. The number in the box, 102 and 3, ten, three hundredths rather, times 4 and 15 thousandths. Well, this is much greater than 1, so we're going to put it in the right-hand box. So I have 102 and 3 hundredths times 4 and 15 thousandths. And last but not least, we have 2 tenths times 1 tenth 
Again, this is less than one, so it's going to go in the box on the left. Okay, we've got them all sorted out. Now the next part is ex explain your sorting by writing a sentence that tells what expressions in each column of the table have in common. Well, two sentences here, right? The ones on the left, they all have the fact that the factor that is not boxed is less than 1. Therefore, the product will be less than the box number. And for the right-hand column, the factor that's not boxed in each case is greater than 1. Therefore, the product is greater than the box number. For this section, we have to fill in the blank uh, looking at the phrases here. We have a, a choice of uh, is slightly more than, a lot more than, is slightly less than, or a lot less than. What we need to do is look at the factor um, that is different. So let's. Uh, what I mean by that is I have 4 here and I have 4 here, so I'm going to be looking at that factor right there. So I look at this and I see that it's less than 1. So it's going to be one of these two. But it's pretty close to 1, so I'm going to have to say it is slightly less than. So is slightly less than 4. So the statement is 4 times 988 thousandths is slightly less than 4. Okay, let's go to the next one. I see that I have 8 tenths on both of this, so I'm going to look at this factor. And it's greater than 1, so it's one of these. It's either slightly more or a lot more. Well, 1 in 5 hundredths is pretty close to 1, so my choice is, is slightly more than. So I can read that. 1 in 5 hundredths times 8 tenths is slightly more than 8 tenths. All right, so again, looking at these, we have 1,725 on both sides of this, so we're going to take a look at that factor right there, which is 13 thousandths. 13 thousandths is not even close to 1. It's quite far from 1. So we know that that's less than 1, so it's not slightly less than 1. It's a great deal less than 1, so the product is going to be a lot less than 1. So we'll write that in, is a lot less than, okay, 1,725 times 13 thousandths is a lot less than 1,725. Again, we'll look at both sides. I see that my uh, common number here is 1 and 3 thousandths. So we're going to be looking at this factor here. This is a lot more than 1. It's greater than 1. It's a lot greater than 1. So we are going to choose is a lot more than. And finishing up on both sides of this I have two thousandths and two thousandths so we're going to look at this. This is less than 1. But 9 111 thousandths is pretty close to 1, so I'm going to say is slightly less than. Okay, continue on to a different kind of problem. During science class, Tio, Carson, and Dakir measured the length of their bean sprouts. Carson's sprout is nine-tenths as long as Tio's, and Dakir's is one and eight-tenths times the length of Tio's. Which bean sprout is the longest, the shortest? Explain your reasoning. Well, one of the things we can do here is uh, use a, a diagram. <clears throat> you can also use words. We'll start with, uh, I'm going to start with Tio's, because that seems to be where everybody's referring to. So we'll, we'll say that Tio's is 1. We could use the unit 1. 
and we can say that Carson's, if that is 1, if TO's is 1, then Carson's is going to be 9 tenths. And Dakir's is going to be 1 and 8 hundredths. So using the diagram, we can largely explain that. So whose is the shortest? We're going to go, oh, we're asking who's the longest. Well, that's stuck here, is the longest. And why? Well, because we're multiplying it, a TO's length, by 1 and 8 hundredths. Therefore, Doc here's is longer than Tio's. And the shortest is Carson's because we are multiplying Tio's length by 9 tenths, and that is going to be the shortest. So we can talk about using the factors and the relationship to 1. We can also draw some diagrams to illustrate this. Either way, or, or both, you're explaining your reasoning. Okay, this is rather abstract, but it's not that complicated. It's, it asks, or tells us, to complete the following statements, then use decimals to give an example of each. We have A times B is greater than A. So we're going to pick a number where uh, uh, inequality where we have the same number in the place of A. So I'm going to just uh, choose a number arbitrarily. I'll have 7 times something is greater than 7. Okay, it becomes a little bit more clear now, doesn't it? If we want this part of the expression to be greater than that, we're going to have to multiply it by something that's greater than 1. They ask us to use decimals, so I'll just have 1 and 2 tenths. And this one, the second statement, we can do, use the same numbers, so at least uh, we'll use the 7 times something is less than 7. We're going to have to put a decimal in that place uh, that is less than 1, so we can just pick any uh, factor less than 1, again using a decimal, I'll give 7 tenths. Your homework is very similar to this, so this should give you sufficient guidance to get through it.